Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. If you're returning, thank you so much for your support. And if you're new, thank you so much for checking my channel out. I make natural hair videos, including lots of DIY to help us grow strong, healthy, natural hair. So if this kind of content interests you, be sure to click the subscribe button. In today's video, I'm going to show you three ways in which you can use gaster oil to help grow strong, healthy, natural hair. Now, the first way is basically as a hot oil treatment. Now, hot oil treatments are known for their amazing benefits. It increases your hair strength, reduces dryness of both the scalp and the hair, also helps reduce downdraft, it causes reduced freeze, your hair to have fewer split ends, and it also increases the blood flow to the scalp, which in turn is known to promote healthier hair growth. Now, the first ingredient we're going to go in with will be some castor oil. Um, so I'm using about a tablespoon and a half of castor oil here, but you can use more if you've got more hair. Now castor oil is rich in something called ricinoloic acid. I'm sorry if I pronounced this wrong guys, but it's a type of fatty acid that's found to fight inflammation. And also when castor oil is applied to the scalp, it's known to enhance the health of the hair follicle and in turn promote healthy hair growth. And it also protects against hair loss. So castor oil is definitely one of that ingredient that you need to consider uh, introducing into your hair regimen if you're not already doing that. Now the next ingredient will be some coconut oil. Now coconut oil has lauric acid that helps bind the protein in the hair. It protects the roots and strands of the hair and also prevents them from breakage. Also coconut oil is very full of antioxidants which are known to boost hair uh, healthy hair growth and also it's known to penetrate uh, the hair shaft, protecting it against environmental pollutants and excess heat. So coconut oil is just, yeah, it's just amazing, guys. Now the next ingredient will be my fenugreek growth oil. I've got a video on how I make this oil. If you want to check it out, it's up here. I'll link it up here for you guys. Um, so I just added, you know, um, a few, uh, tablespoons of that in I think it was about maybe one tablespoon I just eyeballed it guys and then the next one would be some essential oils I'm using peppermint essential oil here and tea tree oil um, you can use any other essential oil that you want or if you want you can, you can do without it as well it's absolutely fine now I'm gonna place the bowl in a bigger bowl and I'm gonna add in some hot water just to allow the coconut oil to melt and you know all the, the oils to kind of you know mix together um, so this will take about maybe five minutes you can actually do this on the stove and place a pot with hot water with water in it as well and just you know do it that way it might be faster than doing it this way um but i was just too lazy to put the stove the stove on so yeah this way works perfectly fine as well it's just that it takes a little bit longer that's all <laughs> Okay guys, so once that's completely done, you would see that the oil has completely melted and it's all sort of uniform, so it's all mixed up together. Now you're ready to apply that to your hair. Now I'm starting here on dirty hair pretty much, okay? I, this was a wash a wash day, um, so, but you can do hot oil treatments even if you're not going to wash your hair. You can just do it, you know, just to give your hair all the benefits that it contains. Um, but I love to do it you know on my wash day just because it's, it's easier I guess um, so I'm just going to part my hair my hair here in four sections and then I will now go ahead and apply the oil um, to my hair I'm going to apply it to my scalp massage that in nicely and then um, apply it to the rest of the hair as well now scalp massages are known to promote you know healthy hair growth because it causes increased blood flow to that area and it nourishes your scalp and the follicles and all of that goodness so that's why if you're doing this hot oil treatment remember that you need to massage your scalp as well as you are doing it okay guys
guys so at this point I was completely done applying the uh, oil to my hair and I'd made four, se four sections like I said and yeah I was kind of ready to just go in with my plastic bag if you're going to actually hit cap that's even better like you can just use that um, but the plastic bag does the exact same job for me anyways so just tie that and then allow it to sit for about two hours you know just to for, just for your hair to have heat um, so this is pretty much what my hair looked like after two hours it was looking kind of shiny and also it felt really soft which is another thing that i was really really happy about um so i was now ready to just go ahead and shampoo my hair you know just to get it nicely cleaned now i'm using herbal essence shampoo here but you can use any other shampoo of your choice um so this is basically just what i had in my bathroom and i just decided to go with that on a typical day guys i usually shampoo my hair only once because i feel like that's enough to get rid of all the build up dirt from my hair and all of that but you can shampoo more if you want to and also i don't put the shampoo on my ends because you know once i scrub my scalp and i rinse the, the shampoo off it sort of cleanses the rest of my hair now sometimes i will put it on the end if i feel like i've got so much product that i'm trying to get rid of but in most cases it's just on my scalp so this is what my hair looked like after i shampooed it guys very nice and soft and shiny and i was really happy with the result so you can now go ahead and use a conditioner of your choice to complete your wash day now the second way i use castor oil is as part of a hair mask now hair masks are very very nourishing for your hair and also provides it with amazing benefits that will certainly help promote healthy hair growth um, so i'm going to show you an avocado mask here uh, but you can actually incorporate castor oil into any other mask of your choice um, i think you've seen this video before it is basically part of the clip for my last video um, so i'm just going to need some avocados just like you know you can see here use as many avocados as you want and then the next one will be some eggs okay i'm using the egg yolk only someone actually left me a comment wondering why i was using just the egg yolk the reason why that is is because this mask for me i wanted a moisturizing mask okay not a protein treatment mask now eggs are actually made of protein an egg has about nine uh, maybe not nine six to seven grams of protein depending on the size and about half of the protein content of the eggs is actually contained in the yolk so that's why i was using just the yolk and also all of the goodness of an egg is actually in the yolk itself so the vitamins the fatty acids like all of that goodness so that's why i'm using just the yolk because i didn't want to do i didn't want to have too much protein in this mask because it was more of a moisturizing mask but if you want to do a protein treatment then use the whole of the egg and maybe use more eggs as well because you know you want more of the protein than the other stuff pretty much so so guys combine all of these ingredients together so the avocado the olive oil eggs castor oil honey don't forget your castor oil because that's the main ingredient that you want to have in this recipe you can use more castor oil if you want so essentially i just went ahead and i blended the whole thing and that's pretty much what i ended up with a nice smooth greenish uh, texture of you know goodness that was ready to go on my hair pretty much now i'm not going to show you how i applied this because it's already in my last video i will link it somewhere up here if you haven't seen it okay guys so the third way i use castor oil is basically as a growth oil i usually use it mixed with um shea butter because shea butter is another amazing um oil that you can consider or butter that you can consider incorporating into your hair routine now shea butter contains vitamin a and e essential fatty acids which i believe to add moisture and shine to the hair and also its non-greasy quality makes it an excellent moisturizer for the hair it also softens dry brittle hair and repairs split damaged ends as well so shea butter has amazing properties um so i'm using about i don't know maybe three tablespoons of shea butter here guys 
I know I'm not really good with measurements, but I'm trying my best to improve on it. Um, my shea butter, I got it from Amazon. It will be linked in my description box if you want to get your hands on it. Now I'm gonna go in with castor oil which is again one of the uh, important ingredients of this recipe so i'm using about a tablespoon and a half of castor oil again you can add more or you can add less so it just depends on you um so then the next thing i'm going to go in with would be my essential oils again so i'm going to use peppermint oil and tea tree oil but you can use any other essential oil of your choice um if you've got some Okay guys, peppermint oil has been known to increase the circulation on the scalp or any area that is applied to and it can also help promote hair growth during the anagen phase of the, growth, of the hair growth cycle. Now on the other hand, tea tree oil is actually really good at reducing an itty scalp, it reduces dandruff and flaking and also improves the blood flow and allows the nutrients to reach the hair follicles, it balances the pH of the scalp and it stimulates the hair growth cycle to give your head full of strong hair now these are two essential oils that i prefer to use because of the amazing benefits that is that they've got now i'm not saying other essential oils are not great but these are the two that i prefer to incorporate into my hair regimen so once you've done all of that guys you want to place the bowl in a pot with some water in it and then put it on fire for a few minutes just to allow the uh, shea butter to completely melt okay now once it's all melted you'll end up with a nice liquid you know uh consistency and that's basically what you want so everything would have been mixed up together so take that off the stove and let it cool down in a cool warm place of your house you are going to end up with you know a nice kind of solid i don't know how to describe it but you certainly see it in the next few seconds so you can just you know pop that in your hand rub it in to um, allow it to melt and then you can apply it to your hair so that's basically what it looks like after it has cooled down okay it's like a nice butter that you can just apply to your hair and scalp so this is it for me today guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video so take care bye